Hey guys, I didn't get a chance to get this boat on the water, but this video, I'm gonna make a collaboration with Chad Hoover. He's gonna give you a review of this boat right here. It's coming after I show you the boat. <laughs> so this is a new idea. Look at this, instead of you having your hands holding the paddle, your feet will be, will be doing the paddling. It's a it's crazy Trident Explorer watercraft. And it has wheels right here in the back built in. Now those wheels for sand is gonna be a problem. So this thing is stable. You have a, room, a lot of room back here. You could put tackle boxes and you could put other stuff maybe a transom motor right here but i mean this is like a work in progress you got a seat very high i don't know how comfortable it is because i didn't sat on it but the main you know the main idea of this boat is that instead of you having the paddle on your hands you have it on your feet right and it looks kind of awkward <laughs> does it work i don't know i'm gonna let Shah Hoover tell you all about that coming soon but take a look at the whole it's a cool idea. I just don't know if it's gonna work if there's a market for it. Here, hold this for me. Okay, ready? I'm being filmed. All right, so Alex just walked up to ask me about my reaction for the Trident Explorer, okay? And everybody has a tendency to wanna be mean, to be honest with you. I looked at some of the Facebook posts and things like that, and here's my take on it. I love what the guy's trying to accomplish. The, the, he seems like a really, Greg seems like a really genuine dude who is invested in an idea. Pedaling it or paddling it felt really awkward for me. Um, the foot pedals kind of rotate on the paddle. I think if maybe they had a little bit more of a fixed location and the paddle actually pivoted in the center, not just pivoted on that axis, it might be a little less awkward. Um, I see it as a problem for casting. I feel like if you have the paddle blade up and you try to cast, you're gonna bang your rod against it. I, I don't think it's gonna do well in vegetation or shallow water. Um, and then also the the pockets were kind of loud. You know, like there's a coffee cup in there and anytime you move the boat a little bit, that coffee cup banged back and forth. And some of these things can be addressed by putting like a foam insert or something. I love it when people take an idea and they and they they get vested in it and they run with it really hard and you know where i'm from uh people say bless their heart when they see something that you know so i i really feel that it's like bless his heart i love what he's trying to do i can't see myself paddling i don't even know what to call it is it pedaling or is it paddling i just can't see myself using it i like some of the things that he's tried to come up with i also think that the marketing of trying to go against kayak fishing when you're marketing to kayak fishermen, it's really not that smart. Uh, so Greg, if you're watching this, man, like market your product for what it is. Don't say you can stand up in this because you can't stand up in a fishing kayak because there's plenty of us out there that stand up 75, 80, 90% of the time that we're fishing from fishing kayaks that are already on the market. I, I, it, there's possibly a place for it for the people that have, have similar experiences to what he has had in his fishing and are looking for that type of craft. If it was a thousand dollars cheaper, it may get some market penetration, and he could build on that. But at twenty four ninety nine, I just don't see it, to be honest with you guys. And, and I really hate to be this guy, uh, but you know, Alex and you guys come to me for like, what are my thoughts on things in this industry and in this space? And I think conceptually, it was probably a really good idea. Uh, I think he got vested in it and just kept going. I, I looked at his website, and there's a lot of prototypes. And I really feel for what he's trying to accomplish, trying to carve out his niche in, this, in the industry. But man, I can't honestly say that it's something that I would use because it's very awkward, it's big, the thermoform is loud, there's some sheet metal used for hatches, which also adds a whole nother loud <laughs> element to it. Um, it adds weight. Uh, I think the wheels are too skinny. Uh, he's going to run into problems with those gunking up if you ever try to take it off-road, mud, sand, grass. And, and I would love to say that it's got, you could do this little change or that little change and it would be a great platform. I actually think it might be a decent platform if you put a motor on it. But then he put that scooped bow on the front, which makes it impossible to put a bow mount motor on. There is a transom mount option, but I, I just think that there's a whole lot of misses 
and not a lot of redeeming qualities for me to say. Actually, I'll tell you one that's that's really great, and he's owned to something. But the problem is, is it's not protectable, and somebody else in the industry and a more established brand is just going to take it. And that's the way he designed that seat. That seat is actually really genius. Uh, it's actually something I've tried to get kayak manufacturers to do for years to have it where you can stand up, fold it up. We got pretty close with Wilderness Systems with the 360, but they didn't make it to where you could just stand up and convert the same seat into a leaning post. So that's a win, right? That's a takeaway that he's got something there. And I love how he used track mounts to adjust the balance and to, to set the distance for the, the paddle. The paddle's super heavy, so even if you need to stop and maneuver, that thing is like, I mean, grotesquely heavy. So again, I like people who try to innovate. I like people who try to push the edge of the envelope. Man, and I even hate myself for what I'm about to say because I really don't want to be that guy for this video, but if you guys have ever watched Shark Tank and you see when Kevin O'Leary is a, is a butthead to people and he tells them they should take it out behind the barn and shoot it, um, Again, I don't want to be that guy, but I, I firmly believe that that product is going to have a hard time getting any traction in the paddle sports space. And whether he wants to call himself a paddle craft or not, when you put a paddle on it, it's a paddle craft. It's a, it's a part of this niche. And so, yeah, man, I just couldn't see. Yeah, I just don't. I don't see it working, just, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, again, I don't want to be a butthead. I don't want to be an a-hole. Um, I, I just can't see myself ever using it, and I, I would be remiss if I told you that you should consider using it if I wouldn't, because that's how I roll. You know, that's what you guys like about me, and it's what some people hate about me. But um, yeah, I just I couldn't, I can't see myself using it to be honest with you.